everyone, this is Scott. Thanks for tuning in. I uh, hope you liked uh, On Through the Night, that little short instrumental. And uh, just a little bit of background, that came from me just actually working out a very simple rhythm uh, in the key of E minor, standard tuning. Uh, and uh, uh, the chords are right out of the Aeolian mode, if you're going to talk modes, or the uh, E natural minor scale. They're the same. And so uh, the chords are E minor. We have uh, D major, C major, A minor, and G. That's kind of the basics to it. Very melodic pattern. Uh, and so what I did was I just sat down and um, just played. Just played. Played with my Pro Tools. And what you just heard was one of them that I thought, you know what, I like that. Even the little mistakes that were in there. Because you know what? This isn't a machine, this, you know, uh, I like the human uh, element in, in playing. Where sometimes maybe a bend just doesn't quite make it or you slide, you know, just something. It's imperfect. To me, that's real, okay? Uh, it's not like the digital world where you can take everything and, you know, in some of these programs, you can take a vocal that's off key and you can raise it into key. I, you know, I'm, I like to be real. I make mistakes, and I tell my students, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Uh, that's just part of it. Now, I mean, if your bends are like really, really bad, and I mean, it's just like, uh, it makes you squint, well, then we need to work on that. But just, you know, slight, slight mistakes, hey, roll with it. And that's what this solo was. And what I'm going to do is, is, for the lesson, I'm going to show you uh, a couple of the lead ideas that I played in here. And uh, they're not going to be probably perfect to what you just heard because that whole thing was just spontaneous. It was just, uh, just me just going. And um, then at the end of the lesson, I'm going to tag some of the, uh, uh, of, of the video because I video myself as much as I can. I wish I would have videoed the solo that you just heard, but I didn't. But all the ideas are mixed into what you're going to see in some of these clips. And there's one where I did some uh, two-handed tapping that I'm glad I had, I had videoed it because it was just, like I say, it was just spontaneous and it really worked well. And so I can go back now and pull that from the video and then use it. So, you know, I want these, uh, you know, these sessions together not just to be, you know, uh, basic learning, but I want you to hear about my life in this and what I'm doing, how I actually operate because to me that's what I'm always looking for in the guitar players that are levels above me. Okay, what are you thinking? Uh, what, 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 what's going on in your mind? When you play a lead, is there something, you know, is there something that you're doing? Because that can help me pull myself up to the next rung on the ladder. So, enough rambling here and uh, let's get into it. I hope you enjoy the rest of this. The lesson, I'm, like I say, I'm going to show you a couple of the, the lead ideas. This is, again, in the key of E minor. Uh, those of you out there, tune your guitar up to standard pitch, and um, let's go. Okay, let's come up to the 12th fret, and we're in the 12th position, and uh, I'm just going to give you the string, or the fret numbers on each string, and then I'm just going to play uh, the basic uh, uh, pattern that I use. Uh, and when you watch the... Uh, the uh, the clips following this, pay close attention and see where I'm at working up in this area. Because again, I just learn things and I play it over and over and then I just, whatever the music, I just go with it. Okay? So it's, uh, but the thing you have to know is what notes on what string to play. So here we go. It's on the G string, it's 11, 12, 14, B string, 12, 13, 15. High E string, 12, 14, 15. Uh, that's this pattern. And of course I'm resolving it to the key note, which is an E. I could either do it here on the 14th fret D string, or I could just uh, bring it right down to the 9th fret on the G string, which is an E. Okay, 
you'll see these when you when you watch the uh, the video of me these are some of the clips that I didn't use it was just me recording uh, sure you know when I did record the solo I didn't have the, the video player going but that happens however basically everything you hear there on that lead I, I know the basic positions and patterns that I was playing and that's kind of what I'm trying to show you here and then you just take it and put your own twist on it <laughs> did there was on the B string go 13, 15, 17, high E, just uh, 14, 15, 17. Again, all E natural minor scale notes. <laughs> Again, all notes, same notes, I'm just repeating the same. There I just kind of took it farther up going 17, 9, uh, 15, 17, 19 on the B, 15, 17, 19 on the high E. Then I went up to 20 on the B and on the high E, which again, here's an E note. See, knowing where your notes are for your key and then knowing the scale, you know, the actual scale um, intervals, you know, patterns, now what I did there in that lick, um, which is one that I used in this solo, and all that is, is so what I'm doing there is 20, 20 pull off 17, 19 pull off 17 on the G string, 19. And then I would go up to the 22nd fret on the B string. And you could even do it this way if you want to. Now see, I got real sloppy there because that's not the normal way that it just works better for me. Same note, but this note up here, instead of playing that A note at the 17th fret on the high E, I went up to the 22nd fret. just another way of descending the E minor scale. Basically all I'm doing here is just showing you places on the fretboard where I've, I've done some of these fast runs and um, you know another pattern that I'm very uh, that I use quite a bit and again we're in the key this is all uh, part of what I just what you just heard what I just played. If you notice now we're connecting and where I'm at here on the low E I'm at <clears throat> 7, 8, and then 10. A string is 7, 9, 10. And there I just ran it up from on the A string, 7, 9, 10. Then I went uh, 9, 10, 12. Then I went 9, 10, 12 on the D string. And then on the G string, you can go 9, there it is, 11. See that shape? And that's just playing different ideas. You know? Again, just playing around with these scales. These scale that was just. Just playing around with those notes. 
So w the reason I'm not dialing in these as far as, okay, you just played that different that time. That's good because I want you to learn just where the notes are and then work it on your own. See, I played it different there that time. Pardon the sloppiness over here. But again, I am playing these frets that I just laid out here. See, there's a pattern there to play. Now, here's where the kicker comes in. When you have a rhythm beneath you, it just kind of flows. It just, for me, it just kind of, kind of sets itself, dials right in on how I should play, or how I should, you know, run that scale. Now I know I've gotten a little long here, but I really wanted to convey some things to you because this is how I operate. Um, I learn the scales, then I learn them up and down the neck. I learn them in different patterns. I find the ones that really work well with my fingers. Some guys. I can't play the way they play because my fingers don't work like theirs do. So I find what works for me and that I can play it fluid and uh, you know get to achieve the results that I'm after. So uh, again, uh, I hope you enjoyed the, the, the lesson. I hope you understand what I'm trying to convey here because I want this to be more than just watching me play some things. I want to talk. I want you to get what I'm uh, what I'm doing. I've been teaching for years and I've. I've learned so many things from uh, great teachers out there and uh, working and applying it, working and applying it, and all of a sudden, boom, the light comes on. Oh, I get it. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the following clips. Again, these are just me sitting down with the camera on and just playing, and uh, I, the really bad stuff I didn't put on it, because boy, I hit some sour notes. And, uh, but I did put on some of the cool stuff. And see, I have that library now, so I can go and pull from that. So anyway, I hope things are going well for you. God bless, and we'll see you again.